When you call yourself Joe Canada, July 1st is the biggest day of the year. Joe even owns a store dedicated to all things Canadian. How does Joe become Joe Canada? Were you born like with a hockey stick instead of a rattle or maple syrup instead of milk? Like how did it all start? Uh, I, it's been a long time coming. Uh, right from the beginning I was probably born to uh, um, a mixed heritage of Italian and Ukrainian roots and a typical Canadian guy and then I just uh, got into some sports and uh, hockey was my main main uh, interest so when the 72 series was on you know you kind of know where you were for that and that's when it really started was when the pride of Canada really showed through with those guys in that series and that's how it kind of started and then from there it was just um, you know Canada's a great place to be from. From those humble beginnings Joe started doing his now famous Joe Canada rant so here it is and oh yeah Happy Canada Day. Hey. I'm, I'm not, not an actor, actor songwriter. And I don't live in a mansion, eat caviar, or own a Rolls Royce. Like all of you out there, I have a family with a very mixed heritage. But living here in Canada makes us all Canadian. We can proudly show off the maple leaf wherever we go around town or around the world. We have screech and potatoes from the Maritimes, maple syrup and back bacon from the east. Wheat and the gopher are the pride of the prairies. Oil and gas keeps the west flourishing, and salmon, scenery, and sunshine are plentiful on the west coast. Okay, it rains a little there too. But hey, I'm just a sports fan who drinks beer, eats beef, and loves to party. I cheer for Team Canada in every sport, including soccer and curling. Hockey belongs up north here in Canada, and the CFL is still a better game than theirs down south. Canada kicks ass on ice and grass. We don't just do it, we set the pace. My name really is Joe, and I love Canada.